Long time overdue. Some of them's put on some mega size. The new pond build up the uh, aquarium again. Wife knows that I'm a butcher. Self a little plaque in there as well. Eat your tea then. Actually helps you drain the water back off. Characters. This one's a bit feisty, isn't he? Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. And what's his name again? Shamra. <laughs> I thought you meant like a proper mountain tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like have a snake as well. App on here so I can control the flow and the filtration on the side, but it won't leave me much. All valve tap. Right then, long time overdue, but I wanted to give everyone a bit of an update and let everyone know the fish are doing fine. Water temperature is coming up, 10 degrees now. I've got a tap on here so I can control the flow. I mean, the tap used to be inside the filter out, but I've just moved it out here just so I can control it a little bit better. I've had the aeration off during the winter. I've turned all the flow rates down. So the showers has been running all over the winter. We're only running at 30% at the moment. Just wanted to make sure everything kept on pulling through the bottom drains. So this is where I'm planning to build the, the grow on pond. I'm unsure on how I'm gonna do it in the way of room, space. I'll have to take this out. Planning just to come up to this post. Originally planning to build it so it's straight on and the filtration on the side, but it won't leave me much of a grow on there. I'll get the tape measure out when I get to that, but this video is purely just a little bit of an update really, let you know what's been going on. So inside of the filter house, everything in here has been running a dream. I've had no major issues. One issue that I have had, one of the UV lights, just this part might have blown or the fuse might have blown. As you can see, I've got one green light on and one off. It is off in there as well at the moment, obviously. Yeah, one of the UV inside of the drum's not been working. It could be anything, could be water inside of the actual system itself down here, which has blown it. The drum itself, super clean and still working an absolute dream. So a couple of the upgrades I've done, obviously all the pipe fittings that I had left, brackets and bits and pieces, just made use out of the door. I'll just shut the door while we're in here. Do apologize about the sound if it's a bit loud with the air pumps running. But this is another upgrade that I've done. So I've done a little ball valve tap. And what it allows me to do is have running water in the filter house. So it's a double tap, very handy, off of Amazon. It was only 12 quid. I can just take straight from that tap now. So for instance, when I'm just giving the drum a bit of a spray down, I just hook up this hose connection, hook that one up, hook it up to there, and just give, give it a bit of a spray down. It's mainly for the waste trap more than anything. Just down the back of it here. Bio unit still running a dream. This is another added extra. So my wife bought me this for Christmas. It's a little fan heater. They use very minimal watt. This room's all been insulated. So it does help keep the temperature. It's for when I'm out here tinkering around, doing water tests or doing little bits and pieces just got a little bit more of extra comfort more than anything there's a few little upgrades i want to do this year so you can see like where i put this foam in the back of the door some of the places in the door where i've added extra basically i just need it to be a little bit thicker but what i'm planning to do you can see the little gaps down the side there's but they're bare minimum but you can see them and that's letting the air get in here this thing's fighting a losing battle really down to a point so what i'm planning to do is get some strips on the back of this side of the door and just cover over yeah apart from that everything in here is doing really well it's all lovely and clean and tidy i've started to get back in into it now i had to give everything a little bit of a, a dust out you wouldn't believe the amount of spiders build up in the winter that managed to get in for the new pond that i'm planning to build i've got a spare air pump that's not even in use at the moment i've got a spare pump that I'm not using. Looking forward to doing the project, but as I said in the last video that I put out, there's no rush. I'm gonna take my time. For the, anyone that hasn't seen the other video why I haven't been around, down to the illness and addictions that I've had, there's a little link just up here. But this video was really just a little bit of a, a video of the koi for you, just to show you that they're all doing really well. Some of them's put on some mega size. 
the chag's definitely put on some size he's catching up with the other ones i'm only hand feeding at the moment i mean they haven't really had hardly anything this winter water temperatures has only really just got back to 10 degrees it's been running about five or six most of the week and in the cold spell it did drop down to four you can see they're a lot more active today I'm not really sure on what the weather's doing at the moment so if we get a cold spell and they have a load of grub it could quite easily cause them to get ill without you know there's no point me chucking food in and then it rotting inside of their stomach if we get a real cold patch and i'm really looking forward to doing this new little project over there still a bit unsure how i'm gonna do it and it's all in the pipeline still nothing set in stone i've started up my fish tank again mainly to keep myself busy and active so i recently set up the uh, aquarium again sat down in the front room i quite enjoy watching these little goldfish swim around i've got myself a little plaque in there as well which is a real cool character to the to the tank i never had one last time but i do like the little fancy goldfish they are quite cool little characters it keeps me busy just do water changes one thing i was going to show you let me just open this for you my wife bought me this and it just makes water changing so easy i just hook it up to the tap run the water through it and then this little valve actually helps you drain the water back off the days and years of doing it by buckets have long gone as you can see we have a snake as well so we got a little corn snake not sure where it's to at the moment this is my wife's pet So this is this has got to go in a video. So I'm a butcher, right? And I don't I don't mock anyone. They get each to your own, do your own thing. But my wife knows that I'm a butcher. She works in the butchers with me, and she has just bought unbelievable vegan flame grilled steak limited edition flavour. Well, I just tried one, and they taste dead. So they can go in the bin because. The way I see it is that if you want to eat steak, eat steak. I'm gonna eat your tea then. Right then, so I absolutely enjoyed that steak. But I thought I would just introduce you to Jacob again. As you can see, if you wanna say hello to everyone, Jake. All right. <laughs> you can tell by the sound of his voice. He's definitely grown up a hell of a lot. This is his little uh, bait of fish, his pride and joy. So he had his Christmas money and he uh, wanted to purchase your own tank, didn't you? Yeah. And to be fair, we come up here and we have a little bit of a chat. We check out his fish. Have a, sometimes we have a bit of a laugh with him. He's a bit of a feisty bugger. But it's a koi baiter, we believe. It just shows, really, you, you don't have to, you know, keep fish on a massive scale to get the enjoyment from it. It just shows you can have a really good bit of enjoyment out of it and all fish are lovely characters really especially if you like the hobby he has got a natural plant in there so that's a real house plant all we've done with that was we took it out of all of the soil the roots itself just help keep the water as, as best as it can be in a small aquarium like this to be honest with you it's only got a small little pump with minimal filtration in it but for one little fish it does the job doesn't it and it seems to be keeping really well does the job does the trick as we say this, this one's a bit feisty isn't he yeah, he, look, he looks a bit grumpy. <laughs> He's a bit grumpy sometimes. 
There, he has got a tiny little plaque in there as well. Eventually, he's yeah. planning to get a couple of neons, isn't it? Yeah, a couple of neons. But only a few, just so we don't yeah. overstock the tank, just for the filtration side of things. You're happy your dad's back and healthy again, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, mate. So, gonna say bye to the viewers? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're full of words there, Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> See you on the next one. See you on the next one. Do you remember? <laughs> so, Toby's back home. Yeah, so basically, my son moved out, basically down to, due to my addictions, really, what I was up to. He felt more happy and comfortable living on the farm, but now your dad's back, you're back home, son, aren't you? Yeah, well, might, might as well come back. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, I love you to bits, and I'm super, super happy that you're home, boy. Sorry to mess your hair up. No, but good. what we come in here for is to let the viewers know that you've... Uh, you're obviously working now and you've got your own money and you've decided to set your tank back up because it's something that you enjoy as well, isn't it? Yeah. Just wanted to share with you guys what he's got going on in here. So he's got a, a really cool skate going on and he's got a bait of fish. And what's his name again? Shamrock. <laughs> Get on, Shamrock. So, um, yeah, he's just got a couple of neons in there. There is a, what was the pleck called you've got in there, Tobe? A clown pleck. A clown pleck that he's got in there. Black with um, yellow stripes on him. So yeah, I'm not sure on the litre on this tank. Some of you guys might remember when he purchased this tank and he set it up himself the first time. And he decided to keep it. He just emptied it and stopped running it, really. And he's got right back into the hobby, adding new fish. I love the filtration side of things on this tank. It's a real... Did you want to explain how it worked, Tobe, real quick? Yeah, might as well get up I've got the pump flow in, so it circles around the tank and it goes back into the filter. So you've got a filter pad here. We've got some filter floss on the top next to the plan. I think there's some oil media in there. For a mountain tree that was from. I can edit it though, so it's not a problem. Just keep it's mountain tree company. Yeah, mountain trees company. Yeah, yeah there we are. Man. I thought you meant like a proper mountain tree. I thought, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like a mountain tree going on the, on the end art, but no. So the biomedia in there, so as the filtration system works, it's like a lupus system really, up and down. One extra thing you purchase, which is really cool, is your heater on the side of the tank now, isn't it? Yeah, it's so much easier to use because you can set the temperature and that heat is well man enough to do the tank. Definitely. Compared to the little one, because we used to have two in there, didn't we? Just running constantly because it didn't produce enough heat for the tank. And where did you buy that one to? Bought that one off Amazon. Amazon, wasn't it? Yeah. Bargain, actually. It's a cool tank, a cool scape. And it just shows, again, that you don't have to spend hundreds of pounds to get an enjoyment out of fish keeping. And it's where I started many, many moons ago, was keeping tanks, keeping the fish, and getting into the hobby. To be honest, it's a nice place where we can come up, have a bit of a man chat, can't we? Yeah, exactly. Bit of a talk, which... Yeah, it's nice to do that, and it's nice to just have a look at the um, fish tank while we're doing so, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we we like weighing it up, don't us, boy? Yeah, just to investigating what the fish are doing. <laughs> think, why the hell are they putting red in the sand like that? But fish will be fish, I suppose. Fish will be fish. But yeah, so there's a little update there on Shamrock. Absolutely stunning looking fish, really. i got to admit, I do like them. They are sort of like the colours, the koi colours on them. They are up my street, but thanks for uh, letting me into the room and doing a bit of video in sun. No worries. And did you want to say anything to the subscribers? Oh, you've got to like and subscribe, obviously. <laughs> thank you, mum, for the rabbits. <laughs> I love you, boy. Right, happy days. So, yeah, I don't think I said in the video, guys, but I want to thank each and every one of you for all of the support that you've given me over the years, especially in my last video that I put out me admitting to some of my problems it was a big massive step for me and with the support that I have from you guys it's absolutely incredible I'm so so made up that I've that I made that video I let everyone know what's going on and I am finding myself again it's not easy every day as a lot of you know keeping fish the hobby the koi pond it's going to be a massive part of my recovery. 
and I get so much enjoyment from it. I mean, the temperature's dropped a hell of a lot at the moment, but I, I still make the effort to come out with a cup of tea, relax, chill out, and just, just spend a little bit of an evening, a bit of me time in between family, working life, and doing everything else that I'm doing as well at the moment. So, And then hopefully start planning over there, the new pond build with the tape measure. Like I said, it's not going to be massive. It's going to be on a DIY scale. And it's just to keep me busy. And there's no rush, no plan, no plan as such as yet. Just something that I would like to do eventually. And with the help and support that I've been offered by some of you guys willing to help out. Is, is more than overwhelming. I don't want to go down the route of me making out that I'm begging or anything like that because it's far from that but I'm going to leave it there massive thank you once again and I will catch you all on the next one